what are three things that uh, you, a gold digger Filipina, will do that you know already from? <laughs> give me three. I know that. Three. Do you believe it's okay that somebody at 65 years old is having babies in the Philippines? Is it a burden or is it, is it exciting, right? If age has nothing to do with it, why don't you see more Fili older Filipino men with younger Filipino women? What is wrong with the local Filipino men? Hey everyone. I'm trying to lose weight here, man. Uh, Ruby and I are just came back from, we, get, we just came back from Albany because of the IVF. Uh, CNY Fertility, been very good to us. Price-wise, very affordable. And as far as um, the treatment so far, we are pretty easy with all the testing and everything. So, you know, I need a haircut, but um, yeah, fingers crossed. We might be having a baby soon. God willing, fingers crossed, pray for us. I need that positive energy. But we are going, I gotta get used to counting this more often. We are going to uh, go get some uh, medicine as well as uh, go get some water. So uh, I wanna try to, my best to carry this more often so I can do more videos. Okay, so cool. Cause if I don't use this uh, gimbal, I would have wasted wasted my money. Wasted my money. I bought two gimbals. Gimbals. two gimbals, two, just sitting in the corner, accumulating dust. Let's get it. Hey everyone, so I am in traffic. It's my wife. We're in traffic. So we are. Um, let me put it on follow mode here. We are gonna go pick up some medicine. Uh, as prescribed by the doctor for the IVF, but um, Ruby and I, as I said before, I'm, this is the first time I'm sharing with you guys about our IVF journey. Uh, we've been trying for 14 years. We've had, we've tried, we tried IVF before, but uh, what do you call this thing? What do you call this thing? If you want uh, more in depth on our journey, follow her channel. I'm gonna link it below or link it right here. So you can follow our journey for those of you who are interested in it. If we can help somebody in any way and with a clarification, questions or whatever, click the link below uh, for Ruby's channel and or right here, it's uh, Ruby Regera. So we can focus on items like that on her channel. And then we'll be more than happy to uh, clarify or you know anything for those of you trying to conceive. So at the moment I was just thinking like, um, do you believe it's okay? Or maybe one of two questions. Do you believe it's okay? And I'll ask my wife the same thing. Do you believe it's okay that somebody at 65 years old is having babies in the Philippines? Is it a burden or is it, ex is it exciting? Comment down below uh, what you guys think about some of these guys who are just coming out of retirement, get the girl knocked up girl could be in the 30s 20s whatever what, what are your thoughts on it like what, what are your what do you what do you think babe depends if he can he can handle it like you know <laughs> what do you think it's do, do you think it's smart well you cannot because girl especially at the age of 30 and didn't have kids yet of course girl wanted to have kids like no girls getting married without you know planning to have kids so I, mean, I guess you mean not not planning to have kids. I mean, uh, wanted to have kids. So I guess like I don't know by force or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what are there. You know, the guy. If you're 65 years old, if you're, it's okay for you. Well, if I mean, Filipina. I mean, this is like only my my. Um, opinion and you know some of my friends also i have those uh uh friends who got married uh older man older men and they have kids um 
their reason is like they're the one who take care of the kids like they don't they don't depend the husband to take care of the kids um they depend on the you know what the husband can provide for the kids they're the one who take care taking care of the kids only you know um you know if the husband has money to provide then uh, no problem for for the filipina and filipina always this is like like when i was young they always wanted to have like you know um half white and half like i, I don't know not half white i'm sorry like half american half filipina because they think like um the the, the mix is like you know spanish looking kids yeah, something like that. Mestizos? Or mestiza. Mestiza. Why, why mestiza. do you think... Why do you think... Or blind eyes. They always want that. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. And blue. Uh, not blind eyes. But why do you... Blue eyes. Why do you think... Uh, why do you think Filipino women gravitate towards... Older men? Older men and foreign men. Not so much for older men because... If age is... But think about this. If age has nothing to do with it, right? If age has nothing to do with it. Why don't you see more Fili older Filipino men with younger Filipino women? Because they don't have money. That's basically, I, I, this is me uh, speaking, this is the reality. Like, all older, if the Filipino, you know, there, there are instances, in, 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 uh, there are cases like that. If you are, uh, if like if older rich. Filipino have a lot of money, have a lot of business, Tendency, if you want a younger Filipina, you can grab it because, like, you know, Filipina woman, especially, like, I don't generalize everybody, but some Filipina woman wants to have a security. Like, even if you're not foreigners or whoever you are, if you have money, if you can take care of the family, like, you know, they will learn to love you. Now, to play devil's advocate. What is wrong with the local Filipino men who are the same age? What do you think is wrong why a lot of Filipino women are going after some foreigners, even younger foreigners? I'm sorry to say this. Uh, younger foreigners? No, some of them go for younger foreigners. Yeah, most of them. I mean, this time, before, yeah, before. And I mean, this time I see a lot of my, my I see, I see friends, young foreigners. I see them with young like foreigners. Like young now. foreigners now, yeah. Because... You know, especially in, in our place, the Magati is like a, a tourist spot, so the Filipino woman have a choice. So what, what do you think can... is wrong with the local Pinoy? There's nothing, maybe, I don't know, there's nothing wrong about it. It's just, um, well, let's, let's not pretend. Do you think Filipino woman, they want to marry a foreigner because they think they can go to America? And that's basically it, because like, you know, um, not all, not all, but that's the, that's the, like the main point of, of it. Like, oh, uh, they want to get out in the Philippines. So they want to marry and not, not everybody though, not everybody. I'm not saying everybody, everybody, um, uh, some of them fall in love with the American and you know, it's a bonus that they can come here. I mean, the, the Filipino. Not all Filipino, huh? This is not. <laughs> but most Filipino guys, maybe some of them don't have a plan, like for the future, like no you know, ambition. I don't know, no ambition. Some of them. Now, Rafi Tofa always puts it. Bunjing. Yeah. Mama's boys. Do you Mama's think that's boys. a very big issue in the Philippines with yes, Pinoy yes, boys? Yes. Because Filipino, I mean, I can't. You know, um, you can't blame them also because the parents have uh, like put into it or right, also with that because like you know um, they what do you call that they, they spoil them. they spoil the kids no no the boys or the boys they spoil the boys um, so like you know uh, I think I guess Filipino guys it's really hard for them to move on to move forward by on their own like they're not that independent so they tend to like you know um stuck with their parents or something like that and then girls doesn't like that like girls wants 
that you have to stand on your own like you know especially me i don't wanna i don't want to have a bonging something like that what the hell is, what, what, what does bonging mean it's anyway? a mama's boy like oh. yeah. now i'm filipino do you think i'm a mama's boy i mean i i think my mom my mom left me my mom leaves me alone yeah. <laughs> she, she, what what tips do you have for foreigners foreigners okay foreigners what tips do you have for foreigners who want to get a a not a mount not a mountain girl or not i'm not gonna say mountain girl that's bad a solid a solid filipina partner not someone who's gonna use them abuse them what are what should a philip uh, an american or even filipino man look for to know that okay this girl is a potential good person potential good wife in the future well uh you can say that oh uh, you cannot i think you have first of all if you want to plan if you are planning to marry a woman you have to know her first because you can't tell by you know first or second uh, like dates or second you know when you hang out you can't tell the what type of woman he, she has because I don't know I don't I can give I mean my tips like basically first is like uh, you have to know the girl first you have to know uh, that woman first Oh. before you know make a decision because especially american um if you want to plan if you are planning to stay in philippines for long and you buy you're buying properties and you know that that properties is not gonna be yours even if you spend your own money because you can't own uh the particular uh, i think like i don't know i don't, I don't know, know exactly 40 percent but yeah so tendency with that you have to go, you have to give it to your wife or to your to your partner so i think my tips for for you guys is just you know know the girls um that i think basically it, yeah you have to know the girls first you just just don't jump to like into like what do you call that like the idea to marry the girl and you don't know the girl and you just meet the girl and you're oh yeah i'm gonna marry you because you're filipina not all filipina are nice maybe not all <laughs> they are um there are some filipina it's the same everybody like you know wherever you are what so i think like pe there are people like taking advantage if you gonna give them a chance to you know to take advantage of you of course you know I think wherever you are, not only Filipina, but yeah. Yeah, it happens right well, everywhere. I think for me, is like you have to know the person first before you um, decide, before you trust your future. You have to know the person first. That's all I can say. Do you really believe that uh, a man can find uh, true love on a, in a bar? Or, you know, like, you know those places. Well, I can't tell because I never been to the bar yeah, ever yeah. in my life, so <laughs> I cannot tell. But you know, uh, maybe yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe because like when you want someone like me, if I like somebody, so I want to know that person. So not only in the bar, you're gonna invite the when you see the person in the bar, and then you know. When you see him in the bar or see her in the bar what are three things that uh you a gold digger filipina will do that you know already from <laughs> give me three 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 things that you know when you can spot a gold the gold, gold digger, digger? Pinay. oh first thing if that woman not only pinay this is only my my opinion because he experienced that with me this is what I am. This is me. So, if a woman asks you to pay what she wants in the bar or what she wants to eat, what she wants to drink, drink in a bar, this is just me. I don't know. I, I don't generalize everybody. If the woman pay uh, asks you to pay, 
oh you have to like you know think twice okay because <laughs> I mean, for you're, me you're, you're talking about a woman who's demanding yeah demanding like oh uh, i want this can you pay can you buy this for me or something like that like oh i want to drink i want i want a drink can you pay for a drink oh that's off for me because for me especially you're not together you just met that person me i don't want us i don't want a guy spend any penny for my for my you know for my drinks or for my food i want like split i want to pay my own because you know what i don't want the guy telling me like oh you know this this girl cannot like what do you call that like utang kabubut on oh this girl owes me something yeah or the girls that give me something or, yeah and what is uh another one i don't like that you know, like, this girl's a gold digger. Uh, I don't know, though. I don't know. That's only basically, maybe, in my opinion, like, if a guy, if a girl like, asks you to buy, uh, you know, demand you to buy what she wants, I think, I think, yeah, you, you know it's not the right How girl. about, um, how about when some of these girls who mess with these older guys never post pictures of the older guys uh no comment <laughs> no comment because i have a lot of friends doing <laughs> yeah like, like think about this if the girl no loves comment. you if the girl really loves you why isn't she posting pictures with you yeah because uh, obviously there's going to be some who do but if the girl really truly loves you wants to show you out or whatever Never, but the, if you look at her Facebook, are there pictures of you together? Are there pictures of you hanging out? Things like that. That could be an indicator. You have to think about this because if you were a, a pick of the litter, if you if you were a pick of the litter, you'd be all over the place, right? I mean, think about that Lo logically. You know what I'm saying? If you had some type of sexual attraction, the girl had some some sexual attraction towards you, she she she's rightfully show you off. So you know that that's that's it. I think I think that's a, that would be an indicator like.